Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of our wonderful and juicy and delicious little subscribers out there. And how I love you so. And I hope that you're all super duper well wherever you are in the world and that life is treating you oh so deliciously wherever you are now then. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to any passers-by, okay? And I hope that you too are having a wonderful and delicious time wherever you are in the world today or this morning, afternoon or evening, okay? And that you're all super duper well. So what do we do? Three, two, one, beam me up, okay? Now then, so I've got some brand new batteries, okay? So they're all juicy and delish. Now then, um, the weather in my neck of the woods in the old UK, well, I've spent most of the morning doing the weeding, okay? So that my uh, garden looks super duper wonderful, okay? But uh, just getting around to the last part and uh, it started to book it down with rain, okay? And it's rather chilly outside, so I have my heating on, okay? So I've had to come in, have a juicy and delicious little shower, and then come on to my video to talk to all of my wonderful and juicy and delicious little babies. Now then, so there's a number of things that I uh, have to say today, okay? And, um, well, where do I begin? Okay, it's one of those moments, because it seems to be rather a lot of things today, actually, to tell you the truth, okay? So, right, okay, let's take a look. Let's look at number one, shall we? Um, right, what I'd like you to look at, okay, because, I mean, I am giving out bits of information today, okay? Surprise, surprise, everybody, okay? So, for uh, anybody who is so very, very kind to even uh, look at my video today, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? If you'd like to subscribe, if you haven't already and you happen to stumble across me, you do happen to enjoy my videos. If you could please click on the subscribe. For others of you, if you do happen to enjoy the video, you do find it informative, if you could please click on the like, okay? Uh, you're also free to share the video with uh, whoever you wish to share it with, okay? If they too may find it interesting. And very finally, if you'd like to leave a comment, then um, that's also very welcomed, okay? And please and thank, thank, thank you. So let me just get into this now then, everybody, okay? So if you could please, this is on bit shoot actually, bit shoot, okay? So for some of my uh, wonderful and juicy and delicious little babies out there, okay? You will know bit shoot. But for others of you, you will not, okay? So you can simply type it into DuckDuckGo, uh, which is usually my search engine, or you can type it into Google. And, uh, and what you're looking for, it's called um, death, you know, death, okay? Angel, okay? I do not like that word, death, but anyway. Right, death angel, okay? And what you're looking for is um, vax, induced uh, autoimmunity self-destruction okay now this video is with dr uh sorry back these okay i'm gonna spell that for you okay b for bertie h for harry a for apple k for kitten D for Delta, I for Indigo, and S for Sugar. Now, I was actually following Dr. Bhakti, okay, um, from the beginning of the old pandemic, okay, everybody? So I just need to let you all know that, okay? And um, I, I've um, found this gentleman to be most interesting, very, very, yes, interesting indeed, okay? So, yes, and uh, he talks an awful lot of sense. God bless his dear soul, okay? And he tries his best, and he has been since the start of this whole pandemic, to get information out, okay? Now, you wouldn't really I'd be surprised, actually, if you was to see him on YouTube, okay? Unless somebody's managed to upload some of his videos. But uh, you're more than uh, usually likely find him on Bittershoot, okay? 
Now, he's a wonderful gentleman, okay? So he's just explaining uh, something, okay? So if you could please take a look. Um, I'm sure that uh, for the majority of you, my delicious little babies, that you will find it interesting, okay? So I need to tick these things off as I go along because I've got rather a lot today, everybody, okay? Now, the next one, okay, so please and thank you, is um, this is on... Uh, Wonderful, because they're, they're both wonderful, okay? Uh, wonderful David Ike, uh, dot com, okay? So I do not mean it in that way, everybody, okay? But, um, and what you'd be looking for on davidike.com is war on children, you know, little bands, yes? And a war on parents, okay? Now, again, these are very interesting videos, okay? And these dear gentlemen, you know, work tirelessly, okay, to get information out so that they can help as many as possible, okay? So let's tick that one off, okay? So this is, you know, I'm, I'm just trying my best here to, you know, just to give out as much information as I can really, okay? I have listened to all of these videos. So these are not videos that um, I just scroll by, decide to write down and then, you know, ignore watching the video. No, I do watch the video and I do listen to the video. If I'm otherwise doing something else, I'm still listening. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So very interesting videos indeed, okay? Now then, um, before I go to something else, right, I want, I want to say something. Now, I was listening to, you know, um, you know, while I was in um, my juicy and delicious little shower, okay? So I was listening to this doctor, right? And, uh, well, he happened to be talking to somebody else, actually, everybody, to do with um, blood, so we're back to this again. Now, I did make a video a short while ago, actually, uh, to do with blood, okay? I mean, there's, to be honest, there's an awful lot more. There we go, before I even say it. There's an awful lot more I could say about it, but anyway, okay? I mean, obviously, at this point in time, I just have to try to keep my video up, okay? Um, but th this doctor happened to say something. Now, uh, what I thought was um, interesting is that he was saying that because... You know, what he was basically saying, everybody right, um, words to effect, okay? So it's not his exact wording, yes? But what he was basically saying was, is that, you know, the, the blood is screened um, in the UK. Hmm. Well, you see, I'm not sure what this doctor has been looking at. I'm not sure what he's been looking at. Sorry, everybody. But uh, my sources, there we go, my sources uh, tell me otherwise, okay, everybody? So I just thought I'd let you all know that, okay? So I, I stand by what I say. I stick to my guns as a figure of speech, and I will not change my view or my mind uh, or anything that I say, okay? And especially with this old pandemic, what has taken place, Okay? Now, um, the thing is, is this, so right next to that, I put lie, okay, everybody? Because it is a lie, okay? Now, of course, you know, the thing is that, you know, blood is sold, you know, and, they, and of course they make out that it's just America and China. Well, you know, you'll find that it's, a, it, it's in other countries, there we go, before I even say it, it's in other countries as well, everybody. Do you see what I mean? So at the end of the day, I mean, this is nothing new. I'm not being disrespectful to hurt, offend, you know, or upset anybody, okay? The fact of the matter is, this is nothing new, okay? You know, blood is for sale, just the same as anything else, limbs, okay? So at the end of the day, I'm not going to say anything more about that, but I just thought I'd mention it, everybody, okay? I'm not going to change my view. I can only hope that my video stays up. Well, if it does not, well, I can just only hope that... Um, whoever you are out there, for some of my wonderful and delicious little babies that you are, that uh, maybe just download it or something, I do not know, okay? Um, so, you know, that's that's um, that, please, and thank you. Now, I want to talk about, um, what's his name? Flipping, in fact, I'll go to Elon Musk first, okay? So we're back to Elon Musk again, right? Now, what surprises me, so that one's ticked off, so... 
what surprises me, everybody. So I'm not having a pop at anybody on any other channel, on any other platform, okay? I am not having a pop at anybody, right? I am telling you what my opinions are, okay? And I'm expressing them, okay? And I'm getting it over to you, yes? What absolutely shocks me is how many are falling for this Elon Musk. Flipping never ceases to amaze me. Do you understand what I mean? You know, you're listening to this platform, that platform, and they all seem to be coming out with similar things. Oh, you know, good on Elon Musk and all this, yeah. Well, I'm getting, and I stand by everything what I say, everybody. I'm not getting anything across my shoulders. So that's telling me no. So I'm going to stand by what I say. Yes. Yes, I am. Right. And I'm going to say, I do not trust your man there as far as I can throw him. And what is it? Something to do with, which of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, anyway, the fact of the matter is, what is it? Is it $8 or something, whatever it is for whatever he's doing? Yes. Okay. So you see, I have my own thoughts on what's going on. Okay. There's a number of things what I feel is going on here. Yes. There's a number of things, everybody, that I feel is going on. And let's not forget that when he's working for, well, we all know who, right? That you see, what this could be a case of, right? Because, of course, you know, everything's getting censored here, censored there. You know, everybody must keep their mouth shut. Do you see what I'm saying? There we go. You know, you've had others, whether they're YouTubers, whether they're on other platforms, you know, other um, sites, Okay, you know, and they've got banned from this, banned from that. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, yes? When really, at the end of the day, everything is common knowledge, like I've said before, yes? But what does one do? This is just, you know, one thing that I want to say. You see, sometimes, you could, like I say, you can send like a warp... <whistles> Let's rewind and start again, everybody. You can send a wolf in sheep's clothing, Okay. Because you see, it seems very much to me, everybody, and yes, I am going to say it, that uh, uh, for we know who, and uh, the lackeys, and the cronies, yes, that they seem to be, uh, there we go, for even say it, running out of ideas, don't they? So the fact of the matter is, what's the, the next point to call? Well, I'll tell you what the next point to call is. Well, you see, they put somebody in, yes, Elon Musk. Right, uh, to gain, there we go, to gain the trust of everybody, yes? That's just one thing I want to say, yes? I mean, it, there's a number of things, but anyway. And then what it is, it's to get everybody, there we go, for even say, to get everybody's views on things, yes? So that then they will find out what everybody's, you know, really thinking. Do you understand what I mean? In the course for a lot, they're going to, there we go, express themselves, aren't they? Do you see what I'm saying to you? But at the same time, your man there, Elon Musk, as if these do not make enough as it is, everybody, right? Still with a ka -ching! Pound, shilling, pence, dollars and change. Now, you see, the thing is, others may disagree with me. That's the whole point of what we do. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But for me personally, I don't trust him. I do not trust him. And I'm going to stand by everything, dear God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will stand by, dear God loves the truth. I'm going to stand by the truth. Because nobody can tell me he's been uh, working for, there we go, for, for, for you know who, right? He's been working for them for so, there we go, for so long, right? So uh, nobody can tell me that all of a sudden now your man there has been, had a whole turn around. No. Because he's still there, like I said before, and I'm saying it again, and it's all to do with electric cars, to do with every, there we go, to do with everything else. Do you see what I mean? You see, what he is, it's, it's like when, uh, let's, just, let's just say, you know, for argument's sake, right? Let's just say somebody wants to open a shop, whether it's in the UK, whether it's anywhere else, yes? So what they're going to do is they open a shop, yes, but behind the scenes, they're selling drugs. There we go. And that's something else, by the way, everybody, I'll mention that in a moment. My point in all of this is this, right? So anybody can, like, you know, knock open a shop, can't they? 
do you see what I mean? So like, you know, the front, it all looks all juicy and delicious. Could be anything. Could be clothes. There we go. Could be food. Could be anything. You know, what, what, what they obviously want to sell, wish to sell. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of other things going on. There we go. So it's me. So I do not trust it. Now, some may call me, you know, that I'm um, suspicious. Well, yes. But at the end of the day, I've got every right to be. I do not trust any of it. And look what they've all done to us, them and the lackeys and the flipping cronies. Do you see what I mean, everybody? So now, I do, I, I, I'm telling you now, everybody, I do not trust it one bit. That's just me. Okay, but for everybody else, if you don't want to have faith, give somebody the benefit of the doubt. But I'm telling you something now, everybody. I'm telling you straight. You know, somewhere down the line, right, he's going to slip up this Elon Musk. There he is. Right? And then somebody's going to see him for tears. Yes. You see what I mean? So I stand by what I say. I'm not saying that, you know, maybe he was not happy about, you know, what they're doing with the, whatever that word, human, right? Humanity, right? I'm not saying that because he's got sons of his own, hasn't he? But the fact of the matter is, is if you, you're part of the club, everybody, right? Well, it means that uh, somewhere down the line, he's spared, isn't he? For a time, everybody. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes? Okay. So, to me, I do not trust any of it. Now then, so let's go on to, uh, what's his name now? Take this one off. So let's go on to um, Hancock. That flipping twat, Hancock. Right? Well, you see, well, in fact, it's, you know, to tell you the truth, Elon Musk is a twat as well. You see, to me, it doesn't matter how you're suited and booted. I said this for months in my videos, right? I'm never here to hurt, offend, or upset. But I feel that I'm here to give straight facts. And when I believe somebody's a twat, that's exactly what they are. They're a twat. I do not care what schooling, sorry, they've been to, right? Whether it's public, whether it's private, whatever it is, right? I, could, I really couldn't give a damn everybody right and I couldn't give a damn if they're suited and booted and no matter how many qualifications they've got after all it's just a piece of paper when people living uh, which I shouldn't say that people sheeple anyway man, when man and woman live in the real world and they go out and they graph for a living whether that was doing the mind you know uh, and uh, old Maggie Thatcher seemed to that didn't she anyway that's something else and she was a flipping right old bat right and, I, and I've got no disrespect against elderly but I never liked that woman at all, right? Now, obviously, others would, you know, disagree. But that's the whole point, isn't it? We can agree to disagree. But if you're going out and you're doing it, or say you're, you know, you've got machinists who are, you know, making clothes, making curtains, making all different things. You've got other ones who weave carpets, you know, and everything like that. Others who make shoes, okay? The, the fact of the matter is is that it's not until you actually get out there and you actually do grafting, there we go, like proper grafting. Do you see what I mean? Anybody can pen push. Do you see what I mean? Anybody can do that. But if you're prepared to get your hands dirty, do you know what I mean, and get stuck in, that's just a figure of speech. But if you're willing to do that, right, that's what I call a proper worker. There we go. Do you know what I mean? Not just one who sits in a flipping office all day, flipping, sipping tea and coffee and eating flipping blooming volivants. Do you understand what I mean? The fact of the matter is, is this. If you're prepared to graft, that's what you call a true man or woman. Do you know what I mean? Ones who flipping, you know, and they have values for things. You see, when you're given too much in life, and I've seen it many a time, when somebody's had too full and plenty, they become very uh, ignorant, arrogant, spoilt, greedy, money hungry, in some cases rather vicious, okay, uh, extremely selfish, okay, and very self-entitled, okay, and I've seen it many times, and I'm going back decades, there we are. Okay, so I know how it rocks and rolls. I, I never ever sit here unless I've actually experienced or seen something, everybody, okay? And I'll tell you that now. So, you know, whatever I've said, right, I can stand by what I say. Yes, I can, okay? So getting back to his twat Hancock now, so yes, yeah, so we ticked him off as well. So yeah, going into I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Well, you see, again, 
You see, I always say, right, there's usually a couple of main reasons why somebody would go on to a show like that, okay? Number one, I, was, I mean, obviously, you know, because, you know, you've had other celebrities where, you know, they've had a bit of stardom and then it goes quiet. Do you understand what I mean? Then they want to earn the old ka -ching. You know what I mean? So they want to feel flipping, you know, important again. Do you, there we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But for a lot of them, they're actually... Um, it, 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 it sounds really quite odd when I'm going to say it to you, strange, everybody, right? But I've actually always felt with these types of shows that others, whoever goes in there, they're trying to find themselves. Yes, there we are. Do you see what I mean? So they're trying to find themselves. Yes. Okay. But of course, at the same time, they still want to be in the spotlight. Do you see what I mean? Yes. But... Here's what I have to say about him now, your man there. So he goes in there, right? This is the way I see it, everybody, right? So uh, Matt Hancock goes in there after he's done all the medazzlam, after he's murdered, and that's what it is, everybody. After they're murdered, it's genocide, and our putrid uh, UK government, and all of the go governments, sorry, all over the world. Okay. And then he goes in there like, oh, gosh, everybody must like me. Do you understand what I mean? Well, I mean, there's something else I could say, and I will not say it. Right? What my feelings are on that putrid creature. Right? But anybody, for anybody, do you know what I would do? Never mind, you know, I mean, I've read other, you know, um, to do with, uh, which I have, to do with, um, you know, oh, you know, well, you know, if I, if I was going to watch it, you know, because it's interesting to see others' comments on things, but oh, if I was, go if I was going to watch it, well, you know, I'd vote for him, you know, to be punished, to eat all of these things and to do everything else, yes. Well, the fact of the matter is, I've got an even better idea. Do not even watch the programme. Because that's what it is, programming, tell a vision, everybody. And not only that, but let's look at the bug situation where them, you know who, right? And of course, they're lackeys, the governments and everything like that. And anybody else who's putrid, they're all putrid, right? At the end of the day, right? Well, of course, they're trying to get everybody to eat bugs, aren't they? So, of course, when you look at I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, they've been already been sort of doing this over the years. I've said this before and I'll say it again. So this is another way of, oh, yes, you know, well, if he eats it, then, you know, then we will eat it. Do you see what I mean? The best thing to do is just not to watch it. Because what can they do, the ones who own the, the TV um, stations, networks, what can they do then? So if nobody watches anything, what can they do? Absolutely diggly squat. Because that's what they've done for decades to get everybody to keep them preoccupied with all of this shite that they've been doing. Do you see what I mean? You know, when others just want to sit down, have the crisps, the popcorn, whatever else they want to have and just sit and do that, you know, and just pretend that nothing's going on. There's a flipping lot going on and it needs to get sorted out. Yes, it flipping does, everybody. And I'm not going to let it go. And I'm just going to keep going and going and going. So, you know, uh, for some of my delicious little babies, thank you for watching me. But for others, if you're not interested in listening, you know, but this is flipping reality of things that are going on, then at the end of the day, please, I beg you with the Lord of mercy, move from my channel, please and thank you. Do you know what I mean? Because for me... I see things quite differently. Do you know what I mean? And, and when myself, even though I only started in December, everybody, right? Um, for myself and others who have been on platforms for an awful lot longer than myself, right? Are just trying to keep getting out information, you know, to wake those up who are otherwise, God bless their dear souls, not woken up. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. After a, a while, everybody, sorry, it can become rather flipping tiring, but I will keep going just the same as others do, sorry.
Yes, I will, keep going. I know I will not shut up about it. And we're not going to forget that he's a murdering, flipping little swine. Flipping filthy, dirty, flipping creature he is. Right, anyway, so that's that. So I've discussed all of that, right? Now then, there's one other thing. In fact, there's two other things I'd like to talk about. So what I'm going to talk about, everybody, right, is this. Uh, now... Everybody keeps going back to 2019. I just need a sip of my coffee, please. And thank, thank, thank you. Hmm. Everybody keeps going back to 2019. You know, when this old um, pandemic, you know, the, uh, the start of the old flipping genocide, because that's what it was, yes. Okay. We're starting... Well, I actually have reason to believe everybody, and I am going to say this, everybody, right? Now, back in 2012, I said this on one of my videos, I'm sure, months ago, okay? Uh, back in 2012, if my wonderful and delicious little friend Cass, oh, she's beautiful, she is. If she was here now, she'd tell you that I actually said that there was going to be um, a world, um, that there was going to be a world, uh, a world war. Right, and I did, and I said World War Three, which I did, right, and I said that um, you know those would have to stay in their homes. Now, the thing was, I was not giving any more information than that. Okay, now if my delicious little friend Kaz was here, she would also tell you what I said. Okay, and that was back in two thousand and twelve. Now then. In 2017, and this is something that I've never said to anybody before. Well, I mean, the only ones who would know are those who are closest to me, okay? Because obviously they either spoke to me on a daily basis or every other day, or do you understand what I mean? You know, it's, it, it's basically dear friends, you know, uh, or my dear, beautiful and delicious little daughters, beautiful, delicious little friends, you know, or even my wonderful and delicious little neighbours who would know this do you see what I'm saying to everybody, yes? But, you know, we all get a cough and a cold, yes. Okay, everybody. So, I mean, for most of experience, you know, they've had an experience of it, haven't they, in their lives. And for most of your delicious, wonderful little selves, little babies, you would have experienced it. You know, everybody's had a cough or a cold or something like that, yes? But in... When was it? November of 2017. I experienced something different, everybody. And I've never said it on camera before. Right? Now, this has been stored in my mind a long time. Do you see? Yes, it has. Now, this was no ordinary cold, what I had. And it was no ordinary cough, what I had. This was something flipping far, far, far worse, everybody, okay? So I was trying everything to get rid of whatever this was, right? I mean, I'm not joking, it was flipping lethal. I'm not joking when I say that, right? And this went on, everybody. Now, this is what's very interesting. This went on from the November right up until the end of March. So the end of March, 2018. Then the strangest thing that happened, and by the way, just to let you all know, everybody, I had to have in antibiotics a total of 120, so, sorry, rewind and start again, 112 tablets to get rid of it. Okay, everybody? I mean, I could not even stand straight. I could not even walk straight. I, I could hardly speak. I was, well, and even if I did speak, I could not swallow. You know, I was losing weight. I was really not feeling uh, at my best at all. Very well at all. Okay, everybody? So once I overcame that, right, so whatever it was, it was flipping lethal. Come the, uh, November 2018, it started up again. 
Now let's look at the months. And then when it ended, it ended the beginning of April 2019. Is everybody following me, my delicious little babies? Now, it was at that point that um, a dear lady who lived, uh, which I'm pretty sure she must still live there, in, uh, where does she live? Is it Maidenhead? In, in the UK. She was given my number from a dear lady, you know, who I've known for many years, who owns a spiritual church. She's owned it for over 30 odd years, right? And she gave this dear lady maidenhead my number, okay? You know, because this dear lady wanted to have a reading with me over the telephone, everybody, right? So this dear lady called me. Now, what happened was I could not even work on my phone line, okay? Simply because, well, I was working for another company then, uh, simply because, well, I just could not speak, uh, and he absolutely killed me just to even open my mouth, let alone anything else. Do you understand what I mean? And you see me, I can flipping talk for England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. I'm flipping beyond, let me tell you, right? But so for me not to speak, well, there's something seriously flipping wrong, everybody. Do you know what I mean? So she called me and I said, I said, I said I'm just so sorry, I cannot speak to you. Because I just, I just couldn't speak. And it just hurt me to speak, pained me. So, you know, I made my apologies to the best way I could. And then she called me back 10, uh, 10 minutes later, sorry. And this dear lady said to me, and I never forget her name, actually. Her name was Janet. I never forget that, you know. And uh, she said to me, she said, you know what you need, Mia? I said, what's that? She said, vocal zone. Now, up until that time, everybody, I'd never heard of these, um, you know, these what you suck, like little lozenges. Uh, chewy lozenges, I'd never heard of them, right? So you hear of all of your normal things, but I never heard of these vocal sound and they come in different flavours, they come in original, they come in honey and lemon and they come in black currant. And they're like nearly a fiver, you know, in British sterling in the old UK. So I'm not sure where it would be anywhere else in the world, okay? Uh, but I'm sure it's probably uh, roughly the same. Anyway, so I started taking those because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to the doctors. I refused to go to the doctors. Just something in my old noddle just said, just do not go to the doctors. Do you see what I mean? Because, of course, you know, it, it was um, years that I went to a doctor. Do you see what I mean? Uh, there was only that one time, like I say, where I had to go and get uh, antibiotics. Do you see what I mean, everybody? Yes. Right, so I hadn't been to doctors, yeah, for years. I see, I thought it was six, but it wasn't. It was a bit less than that. Do you understand what I mean? Because I had to get those antibiotics, yes, to, to, to clear whatever infection was there. So when I started taking these uh, along with my honey, lemon and ginger and everything like that, everybody, yes, because uh, I still couldn't eat for a while. Um, you know, I could just about drink fluids, yes. Well, once I started taking these uh, vocal zone, after three days, because you have to suck one, you know, every four hours. So after three days, well, I started feeling much better in myself. You know, and I was so flipping grateful and thankful. Do you understand what I mean? I was so thankful to that dear lady. You know, she never called again, you know, but I really wanted to say thank you to her. In fact, I would have given her a free reading. Do you know what I mean? God bless her dear soul. And anyway... Since then, I've tried to um, tell others. In fact, I've told loads of taxi drivers. I've told loads. I've even, with uh, certain the odd neighbours, I've even, if I've had some spare in my cupboard, everybody, right, I've actually given them to them, you know, to, to help them. Do you see to me over the years, you know, whatever I had spare left? And I tell you what, I went, uh, when was it now? Last week, I popped in the chemist uh, on my way shopping and I, and I popped in the chemist. And I said, oh, I said, have you got any vocals then, please? Do you know what? They're completely flipping out of them. And there's another chemist as well in another uh, uh, town centre. They're out of them as well. Look at that then. Do you see what I'm saying? Because word gets round, you know. Do you see what I mean? Because what it is, with the vocal zone, they act like an antibiotic, everybody. Yes? Now, many, many, many years ago, right, I used to suffer... 
uh, I, you know, I, well, I'm not even going to say, because if I say it, because it would flipping happen, and I'm not going to say it, right? But I used to suffer this part, yes? And when I used to suffer, I used to suffer terrible. So the only thing I could have, and I mean, going back, what, 20 years ago, was uh, called uh, amoxicillin, okay? Now, that's the only thing, because... You know, there's a lot of other things that my body just will not tolerate. So, you know, so the thing is, it's like a poison, so that it just rejects it, right? But um, the amoxicillin I could actually take, and that cleared up what, what whatever was here, right? But now, these days, you know, we fast forward, yes? No, uh, what, I, what I do, okay, is even if I feel, which, which I do not actually, I never really, do you understand what I mean? But... If, if ever I feel that there's something coming, I will take a vocal zone plus honey, lemon and ginger. I just keep knocking that back, knocking that back. Do you see what I mean? And have my grapefruit and green vegetables and, you know, as much, get green fruit, everything. Do you understand what I mean? Straight down my flipping uh, throat. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, everybody? So that's what it's, uh, uh, you know, that's all I wanted to say. But yes, I've noticed as well that there are certain uh, who are selling amoxicillin and shipping it. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say there, everybody. So I just thought I'd mention it. So yeah, so, so uh, you know, when I go back in time, so do forgive me on one of my previous videos months ago. I honestly thought that I hadn't been to a doctor for six years, but it was slightly less than that, everybody. But everybody, sorry, because, you know, I had to remember with the 2017, what happened there. Do you understand what I mean? So I was slightly out there, so I do apologise. I'm very sorry about that, everybody, okay? But yes, I would do everything in my power, everybody, never to go to your flipping friendly quack quack, right? Because it seems to me that uh, for a lot, they're not very flipping friendly at all, are they, right? Now then, finally, what I want to say, everybody, is this, now, I actually seen this at the beginning and it was a few weeks ago, but I'm going to be honest with you. I never flipping thought to write it down, did I? No, I didn't. And because uh, at the time I was too busy, you know, with my other videos and things like that, to be honest. So I was too busy to be rambling on to get other things out, right? But if you type into YouTube, everybody, and this is the final thing now, okay? Um... Right, and if you type please in the space bar for those of you, uh, world's first 156,000 dollars electric flying car finally hitting the market. So I'll just repeat that again, everybody. World's first $156,000 electric flying car finally hitting the market. And then if you look in this, you know, where you subscribe down below, okay, it should say, where is it? Future Galaxy, okay, so in, in, in the little subscribe box, it should say Future Galaxy, right, now this, is, now this is in um, Dubai, okay, everybody, now I wanted to leave this for last, so I'm going to tick it off and then I'm going to close my book, everybody, okay, but before I close my book, I just want to say this, so you see, this is apparently the first flying car, okay? Now, it's not on for very long. It's about seven minutes something. Anyway, this was out three weeks ago. So, for some of you, my delicious and wonderful little babies, okay, who haven't stumbled across me, okay? Well, um, you will already know about this video, but for others of you, you will not, okay? Now, what it is, yeah, that was three weeks ago. Now, this um, flying car... Right, because there has been apparently other flying cars made in, uh, you know, over the decades, okay? But this one here is in um, Dubai, okay? Now, it was actually made by a Chinese manufacturer called uh, XP, X, uh, Peng, okay? So it's X for X-ray, P for Papa, E for Echo, N for November, G for Gertie, X Peng, yes? And uh, now it has a 35 minute flight time, everybody. Now this particular one has two seats, okay? 
and then they explain all the whites they explain all of that on the video okay to all of you wonderful and delicious little babies who even want to take um you know uh, a little look at this video okay and what it is is that what the, the general idea is everybody right is that well it's an electric flying car so what this means is so I'll just put my book over there so with this electric flying car everybody right it's supposed to make everybody's lives easier you know that's what they're saying okay uh, like a taxi hmm. right so what i'm saying here everybody right so if it has a 35 minute flight time now i'm not <laughs> as everybody knows everybody i am not very good at the old mathematics no i am not right but even i know that if you're a taxi driver and you put petrol or diesel in your car right okay and i'm a driver myself do you understand what i mean i drove for years right my point is is this right we're well, not at the moment but i have drove for years right my point is is this however much you put in so if you fill up the tank well you can go for miles and miles and miles can't you can you not yes you can so say for example if somebody in a taxi this is all i'm asking everybody right this is just something that crossed my mind so if you're in a taxi and you've got to go somewhere that's further than 35 minutes well what happens then i mean surely wouldn't you have to um <laughs> surely wouldn't you have to sorry ladies go past um Sorry about that, everybody. I do get distracted. I do not know those ladies. Anyway, um, surely, to goodness, then th they would have to land whoever's um, flying this thing, right? This flying uh, car, <laughs> flying taxi, right? And then they'd have to land it, wouldn't they? Right? And then they'd have to find one of these silly flipping electric points, wouldn't they? So that they can flip and recharge. Do you see what I'm saying, everybody? So then, my point is, right, well, surely to goodness, wouldn't that take longer? That, that's all I would have thought. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes? So say somebody wanted to spell the, spend the old you know, to go further, and that's only 35 minutes. I'm hoping that you're getting where I'm coming from, everybody. Now, secondly, right, well, anyway... I mean, well, firstly, I mean, these stupid electric cars. I mean, this is just another scam, everybody. So as long as everybody knows it's a scam, right, then we're all on the same song sheet, okay? Because it's just a crock of shite, as we all very well know, right? The fact of the matter is, and for most, God bless her dear souls, as they're waking up to this now, yes, they are, okay? So they're not buying that shite, right? Um, and I did videos months ago on abandoned cars, you know, which are in the middle of, you know, which look like flipping old airfields and that to me, right? Anyway, so I know what I've flipping put up, right? Now, the point is, is this, right? When they did that scrappage scheme, was it back in 2018? I did a video on it anyway, right? My point is, is this, so you've got that situation there, right, which, of course, you know, these electric cars are just not, it's just, it's just useless, okay, everybody, absolutely useless, right, because I call them little Lego cars, I do, and when they're not doing that, they're flipping blowing up anyway, right, now, the other thing I want to say, now, they've disrupted everybody's travel now, for the best part, that which they have, okay, and I do not care what anybody says, others may say, oh, you know, all the flights are all back to normal, and no, they're not, they're not at all. It's just that you're not hearing about it all, you know, in a, whether those of you, my delicious little babies, you may know somebody with a box in the corner room. You're just not hearing all the truth about things, everybody, right? And that's the fact of the matter here. Oh, I'm just flipping. Here, yeah, look at this. See? Look at that. It's flipping froze again, everybody. Oh, goodness me. I'm not changing my, I'm not stopping my video now, everybody. I'm not stopping it. I don't know why it's done that anyway right i've no idea anyway i wasn't even banging the table then so i don't know what's gone on i do apologize everybody i'm awfully sorry but anyway so for the best part of three years it messed everyone around yes in certain countries with traveling yes 
And then my point is, and then they bring out this flying car. So all I want to know is everybody is, well, what's the point in having a flying car, you know, as a taxi? This is all I'm asking. What's the point in having that? That, sorry, when you've got others who cannot even travel to here, there and everywhere where they want to go in, a, in an aeroplane. I mean, I know that an aeroplane, hello, is different to a flying car. Yes, I am fully aware of that. I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to put my point across of what I'm trying to explain here. Why come out with a flying car? Right, this is my point. Why come out with a flying car, everybody? Right, when for most, they've been having trouble uh, travelling. That's all I'm saying. To fly. So really, does any of this make sense? No. Do you see what I'm saying to everybody, right? And really, who would want to go in a bloody flying car? You know, unless somebody's just got money, you know, ka -ching, pound, shilling, pence, dollars and change to burn. Do you understand what I mean? So for most, well, they wouldn't want to go in one, would they? They just want to jump in a flipping, in a normal car. Do you see what I mean? Just to get from A to B. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say. And not only that, but if you had loads of rich, you know, like man and woman out there, yes, who just do normal jobs. And if they had loads of ka -ching, right? Well, I mean, surely to goodness, I mean, they want to get somewhere, go buy a flipping helicopter. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm hoping that for, the, for you juicy and delicious little babies out there that you see what I'm saying. I'm just trying to explain something. I know what I'm saying, okay? So for some of you, you know, you may not get me what I'm saying, but I know what I'm saying, okay? It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. And really, and for how many, unless you're super rich, who has 156 grand, right? To go and... Uh, get one of these um, flying flipping. Do you see many taxi drivers out there? No. Who, who wants to go and buy a flipping flying flipping car, which has only got two seats anyway? Just, just doesn't make any sense, anybody. It's just flipping bonkers, isn't it? It seems very much to me that others out there, I'm not being nasty, these ones, ka right? Well, they've got more flipping ka than sense, haven't they? That's how it seems to me. And sorry, one last thing, just to uh, let you know. It seems that the main uh, old drugs, you know, uh, um, coming through Belgium, aren't they? Everybody? Yes? There we go. So I just thought I'd let you know that, sweet. So for some of my delicious and wonderful little babies, you would know, but for others of you, you would not know, okay? But yes, uh, because apparently at one point it was coming through Colombia, but now it's uh, going through uh, Belgium, okay? And then, the, you know, because on these um, big, you know, ship, uh, cargo ship things. And uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, they just paid off. ka -ching! You know, just for others to keep their mouths shut out there, just so that it can go to wherever it's going to go to. Anyway, so I just thought I'd let you know that, everybody. So thank you to whoever you are, my delicious babies, for even taking the time to even watch my videos, okay? God bless you. And all I ever try to do is just give out information. Now, I'm awfully sorry if some of you may have got confused with the last part that I was talking about. I know what I'm saying. Okay, as long as so as long as I know, you, you will get to me if you know what I'm saying. There we go. You will get what I'm saying to you. It's just it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? And who's gonna want to do that anyway? It's just totally flipping bonkers when they're messing everybody's travel up and everything like that. Okay, it just makes absolutely no flipping sense at all, everybody. So on that note, until my next uh, videos, okay. Much love. Thank you for watching. God bless. Take care wherever you are in the world. Morning, afternoon or evening. Have a delicious and wonderful time. And I'm sorry that my video froze. Much love. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.